Hey guys, uh, Car Collector here. Um, I want to take this time to do a video, a little something, a little different than most videos that I've done in the past. Um, I don't know how people are going to react to this video, um, negativity towards me or think of me as an asshole or a different person and excuse my language I shouldn't have said that especially when young audiences are watching so I apologize for my language um I try to make this video short and sweet but people need to know and, I, and I've been wanting to tell people this for the longest time it's just I don't know how to approach a subject that people are going to look at me differently you know I'm I don't see myself as a big part of the community. I like to help the community, the card collecting community. You know, I mean, I'm not a big shot. You know, I have 750 subs. You know, I'm going off 800. But, you know, card collecting should not be about that. Like, it, to me, I mean, you know, if you're a good person, you're cool with me. You know, I don't care how many subs you have. People say to me, oh, you don't text, you don't you respond to me because I only have 100 subs. You know, that's not true because I treat everyone equally, you know. And, um, I've been hiding a lot of secrets through pe people, especially friends of mine on here. Um, James5152 is the only person that knows what's going on because I'm really close to him and he's a good friend of mine him and Nate, they're both really close to me and um, Nate don't even know this so uh, um, people probably wonder on YouTube where I get all these nice cards like where I get the money for you know is that like you just saw that super mail day I just had like all these super high end cards or mid end cards or whatever and uh I do work, you know, I do bust my ass at work, you know, I was raised not to sit home and do nothing, you know, my parents never raised me like that, they said, you know, you always have a job, whether it was flipping burgers, you'd be the best burger flipper out there, you know, just be the best of what you can be, and, um, when my dad passed away, you know, he, uh, he left me, um, I actually got a trust fund and um it's a lot of money um it's, it's, it's near close to uh I don't want to say the numbers online you know especially on YouTube because then uh people are going to be uh after me or think negativity about me but let's just say it's uh, a lot of zeros with an eight in front so, uh, close to 800,000. Um, but, um, I don't use that as an excuse for anything, you know. I like to do things on my own. I don't like things handed to me, you know. I don't like to, you know, I like to help other people. Like, if James... If James came up to me and said, uh, you know, uh, my house is being foreclosed, I would give him the money to make sure he has a roof over his head for his daughter and his wife. I would do that for him. That's the kind of person I am. You know, if Nate came up to me and said, uh, I'm a thousand short on rent, I would send the check out in the morning. That's just the way I am. You know, I, I believe in helping others because you know you never know one day when you're going to need help you know um you only live once you have one life you know you gotta take care of that life you know you, and um that's why when you see me send out care packages to people with like Griffey autos and stuff like that I mean the card do the card doesn't mean you know, it's the person that's getting the card and seeing them opening it and seeing them saying, wow, look what Chris sent me, you know, I mean, that makes me happy, it really does, and you know what, 
you can't put a value on that. You know, seeing people, you know, opening your package, or I love sending packages out to people. I haven't done it in a while because I've been busy and I kind of hid behind a lot of stuff in my life, you know, like with this mystery pack saying I need money and stuff like that. And that's not the case. I mean, I, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy, you know, doing these kick-ass packs for people. You know, I mean, these packs I put together aren't cheap. You know, a lot of them are not cheap at all. Um, people say to me, well, why do you do so you know, should raise the money of your packs, and I said, no, nah, leave it at what it is, you know, um, I enjoy doing it, you know, I, I enjoy the hobby, you know, I have a love for the hobby, I love the game of baseball, football, bat basketball, um, you know, and, um, I like to take care of my fellow YouTubers, because, you know, we're a unit, you know, to me, we, we need to come together, and stick together, you know, and help each other out, because, you know, without us, there is no, you, you know, card community, and we have to get all the haters out, definitely, you know, all the people that are jealous of, oh, you got a Bryce Harper Super Factor, or yes, bullshit, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm happy when people put in high See me, me personally, I'm not a pack person. Um, I'm a singles guy. I like going to a card shop, looking through the drawers of a single card, seeing what kind of bargains I can get. I'm just saying, for obvious sake, uh, I like doing that. I don't like busting packs because if I spend 50 bucks on a pack and I pull like, uh, say Gerald, Gerald Parker Auto, I'd be pissed. I wasted 50 bucks on a Gerald Parker Auto. That's just the way I am. I I like to know what I'm getting for, for my money. That's why you don't see me doing a lot of box breaks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much uh, what it comes down to. Um, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a simple guy. Um, I enjoy this sport. Um, I enjoy my cards a lot, you know, I enjoy, you know, I, I look at them every day, I mean, like, I could just, like, and not just the card, you know, it's not just how the card looks, like, for this Gerald Parker, that's why I said his name, this refractor, I like looking at the back, I like reading the stats, and how many games he played, 26 games, and, you know, that's what a lot of kids nowadays, you know, uh, don't realize, I seem to God, I've been collecting my whole life. I've seen it so many times. Kids open packs of cards, throw the commons aside, pick the chase cards out, and destroy the rest in the garbage. That's a, that's like destructive. I mean, to me, that's just like not what card collecting should be about. You know, it should be about fun. It should be about putting those sets together. You know. You know, somebody else could appreciate those cards. Give them to someone else. Give them to your brother. Give them, you know, to someone, you know. And, um, to me, that's what it's, you know, meant for, you know. And, uh, but, uh, shit, I'm at almost nine minutes already, me rambling on. I know you don't want to hear me talking too much anymore, but I just, I just felt like I had to say some stuff, because, this stuff has been on my mind for about over a month now, and I I feel better when I talk, especially to you guys, because a lot of you guys understand. The reason why I did it is because I don't want people to label me as, oh, this rich guy gets all these nice cars, he's a rich, spoiled brat, and this and that. I don't want people to think that of me, because I'm not a brat. I don't say I want I don't demand anything from anybody, you know, I don't, you know, I'm, I just be myself, and that's all there is to it, you know, what you see is what you get, you know, and like I said, and if any of my friends ever need help, you know, I'd, I'd be there for them, you know, that's just the way I am, and uh, nothing can change that, nothing can change that. But, um, 
It is at 10 minutes now, enough of me rambling on. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'll let you guys go now. Um, uh, I gotta finish with the carpet upstairs. Just got a new carpet in my bedroom, in my wife, in my bedroom. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Out.